Welcome to the Netspire podcast. My name is Kamiko. I am an American knitter living in Canada. Today is to Wednesday, March 6, 2019, and thank you so much for joining me today. It is really, really, really cold. Even though it's March, there's snow all over the ground, which is the most snow I've ever seen all winter. <laughs> um, it's like minus 14 degrees Celsius outside right now. I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit, but it's cold. So yeah, I am cozy inside and it is early in the morning. Well, not early in the morning, it's 8.40 and I'm getting stuff done today. I have been pretty consistent with my podcasts recently, except for the last couple of weeks. So I just wanted to get back on track and come back to you and share a couple of things with you. I'm all wiggly. Um, but thank you so much for joining me. If you're new, welcome to the podcast. And um, if you're not new, if you're returning, <laughs> thank you so much for coming back and spending a few minutes with me. I am going to get into this um, as quickly as possible because I don't want to waste your time. I don't want to take too much of your time. And I think I have a lot to share. I feel like I don't, but it always ends up being really chatty. And I don't want it to be too chatty because take too much of your time. I already said that. So I am going to go right into works in progress. And the last time I podcasted, um, I did share this with you. This is the Om Shawl by Andrea Maori. And it's a bun I'm using a bunch of Cascade yarns. And unfortunately, I am at a standstill right now because I ran out of one of them. And I can't just pop out to a yarn store or I can't seem to find the yarn online either. But I'm sure if I go to a yarn store, I'll be able to find it. And I just need one more skein. So right now I'm at a standstill. And also keep in mind, this is color work. So it's like a little wonky. It's like wide at some points and not at other points. So it's not blocked out yet. But yes, this is the Om Shawl. And I think it's actually supposed to be this way anyway. I think I showed it um, vertically last time, but it, this is horizontally. So <clears throat> these are all Cascade yarns. There's knitting... Um, there it's textured knitting for these panels and then this is the color work and then this is the middle part and I think it's going to be about double this size and then it's got buttons actually I'm not quite at the buttonholes yet but that is where I am right now again it's all <laughs> it's all wonky like tighter here looser here because it hasn't been blocked yet of course because it's still on the needles but yeah that's that's where I am right now. So I need to buy more of this. It's Cascade 220 Heathers in River Rock, I believe. I think it's like 2441. That's the label. So I had to look it up and it actually does have a color, River Rock. I call it oatmeal. <laughs> I renamed all the colors, but I am looking forward to getting back on track with this because it's a really fast knit because it's worsted weight yarn. And I'm looking forward to be able, being able to use this as like a wrap because um, we have quite a bit of cold weather left and even in the spring it'll be nice even in the summer it'll be great like when we're outside having fires um, it gets a little chilly until like July and August at, at night and um, yeah I look forward to this and it's just really cool I like the way it looks from far away I think it's gonna look really really amazing it's definitely different <laughs> and I'm really proud of it um, yeah so that is that that is that I, you know I, I find it when I'm editing you don't really realize what you say and what your all your ums and ahs and likes and the little quirks and like the hair tosses and touching your face and all this weird stuff until you start editing and I noticed that one of the things I say is that is that so I have to be aware of that I think <laughs> but so that is the Om Shawl by Andrea Mowry, and I love it because her stuff's really great. And I'm actually a little embarrassed because I've been sharing the Raina Shawl with you for a couple months now, and I still, I did, I did not follow through on my promise, I still have that much to bind off. And I was working on it last, at the end of the last podcast, I think, did I? And I ran out, but I did find that I have more of this yarn stash in my stash. So I will finish that, I promise, because I, I think once this is blocked out, it's gonna look really amazing. Yeah, I'm excited about that. So I haven't really 
followed through on that one even though I said I was going to, <laughs> but I didn't. So the next work in progress is um, a new pair of socks. So I'm actually liking the contrasting um, cuff, heel, and toe. I see a lot of people knit like that, and I've never done that except for my last pair of socks that I will show you in a minute. Um, one of my patterns that I came out with. Um, so I started, I started that with this sock, and this is just a plain vanilla sock. You know how much I hate calling them plain vanilla socks, but whatever. It's just stuck in that knit stock socks. Anyway, this this cuff is the same yarn that I used for my Nadia socks, and it's a Cascade. I don't know the exact name of it, and I don't know the colorway, but. It's in my famous one by one twisted rib, which I really like. I love the way it fits. And then this is Knit Picks Felici and Hopscotch. And silly me, and this is why kind of why I'm doing the contrasting heels, toes, heels, cuffs, and toes. Cuffs, heels, and toes is because when I bought this, I only bought one skein of yarn. And I believe it's what, 50 grams? <laughs> so that's 218 yards right there and I want to be able to use it for both pairs of socks and I don't want to run out so I'm actually I'm about to start the fish lips kiss heel so that's it's not gonna be a very tall sock which is totally fine I just want to have enough for both socks and I really hope I do so that is where I am right now and these are on my not my interchangeable Chiagos they're like 40 inch I think they are these are my go-to needles for socks because I seem to get the best gauge for me. I'm a very tight knitter. These are 2.5 millimeter. Oh, I thought they were size 2. So they're 1.5. I Apparently I use a 1.5 to knit my socks. I think I'm getting confused with my interchangeable set. So yeah, 1.5 uh, and it, that is 2.5 millimeter. Did I just say that? Yeah, 2.5 millimeter US 1.5. Needles in the Magic Loop, Chiaogu. I love it. So that is another work in progress. Um, so I'm not sure. I'll probably put it at the end of the video. I did a complete frog of my Rizzo blouse by Poison Girls. I want to say it's by Poison Girls. And it's also Amy Apple. I'm not sure. I think she's the designer behind Poison Girls. I don't know. But the Rizzo blouse, which is super cute, and it's a little nod toward Greece, which I love Greece. I did a complete frog of it because I didn't knit it right. I did something wrong. I'm not exactly sure what, and it wasn't sitting well with me. And you know what? I'm about the process as well as the product, so it was totally fine to rip out. Um, it, it, normally, ripping out a project takes a long time. Um, doesn't take very long. This took a while, so I was like, oh boy, I did a lot of work on that one. But she did since I started the started the sweater the first time. She um, updated it, and I had actually brought to her attention a, a mistake. And I'm not sure if that was that. I haven't really compared the two. I don't really care. But she updated the pattern, and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna give this a try. And then I realized that there's a Ravelry group for that pattern, so I can go there and ask questions. And she you know, she checks it out so she'll answer any questions as the designer. So I did start the Rizzo blouse again, and this is the back of it. So this is the right shoulder, this is the left shoulder, and right now I'm just shaping, shaping sleeves. So I started it, started it again, and this is all I have to show you, but it's a lot. Um, I don't know if I talked about this before, but there's a lot of short row shaping, which is something I think I've done in the past, but not on a large scale so I'm doing that on this and um, I was a little afraid of it I, I tend to be stuck in a rut and just want to knit without thinking about it but what is the point of that <laughs> when you can learn so many things so I learned how to do that which it's not rocket science it's wrapping and turning <laughs> so there's short row stuff happening there I don't really understand why when or where it is but it makes this happen and I like that so this is my gauge swatch also, so I think that works for me, hopefully. It's a nice fitted cropped sweater. Um, in the picture, she's very busty. 
Me, not so much, but I think it'll work, you know. It'll work. <laughs> yeah. So, and, and this is, um, this yarn is my own hand dyed yarn, but it is exactly what I wanted, but, um, I would not be able to 100% replicate it because I kind of just played around and, um, knowing what I had in mind, but I'm really happy with it. I like the, the pops of bright pink and then the tonal pink in the background. And then there's like crazy things like a speck of blue and a speck of yellow, like right, right there. I don't know if you can see it, but it looks, wow, you can really see it there. It's really not that noticeable. I guess maybe it is from far away, but I love it. <laughs> um, okay. So we actually have neighborhood cats. Um, I'm not even going to get into it too much because I know people don't really like cats, but if you follow me on Instagram, you know that we had a little kitten this past summer and she was a result of one of the litters and this cat just keeps having kittens. Um, anyway, she's out in the yard, not, not the kitten we used to have. We, she went to a loving family. Um, but my cat, he looks like a, he's standing on his hind legs and like going like that, looking out the window at this cat. He just wants to play with her so bad. He, he and he won't go out in the snow. He, it's too cold for him. But he's so cute because he's walking around, going over to the sliding door, just looking like the little, like the nosy old lady in the neighborhood. Anyway, so that is my Rizzo blouse. I'm super excited about that. I was binge watching some the end of the. Um, uh, I was binge watching Friends last night and. Um, knitting on this and it was actually at the point I am it's kind of a mindless knit I mean it's in stock in that anyway but there were no short rows or anything just some decreases for shaping and yeah I got it quite a bit done last night I'm really excited about this I can't wait to wear it those are my only works in progress that I'm sharing right now um, because anything else is like scrap blankets or my speckle and pop or my um, Comfort Fade Cardi, which is actually also going to be a frog. So we've talked about that before. So my finished projects, and I don't know if these are finished in my last episode, but they're definitely finished now, and I'll show them again, are my Nadia socks. And this is the fourth and final pattern in my Sweet Child of Mine sock collection. Actually, I think they're, they're going to be um, released separately. No, I still have not released them. And then I think I will put them in a collection. I'm thinking about maybe an ebook from for my patterns so that you can get all of them and some extra instruction. But these are my Nadia socks and these have the contrasting toe and cuff because I forgot to do the heel. But I'm really happy with these. They're just a nice textured pattern on the front and then it looks like a little braid kind of down the back. This was per her request. I found um, something that looked like an Elsa braid. She's a little frozen obsessed. So yeah, I don't know if you can but I've worn these. Oh, that's kind of, I'll just push it over to the side. I've worn these um, and they fit oh, so nice. There's something about ribbed socks, um, not ribbed, but they have the texture on the front that just kind of, kind of makes it. So you put a little bit of more work, a little bit more work into the sock, but um, it, it's worth it. It's, it's really nice. I mean, they would have been beautiful, just like plain knit and stockinette, but this is how they came out. I'm really happy with them. So those will be released very soon. Speaking of socks that I have not released yet, I'm wearing my Three Little Voices socks, which is a pattern that got tested last spring, I think, or summer, and I still haven't released that, but I, tr I put them on today. I'm wearing them right now, but I'm not gonna like lift my leg up and show you my foot. These fit really nice because there is a, like this, it's a textured knit kind of on them. And they just, something about that texture, it just really pulls it all together. And it just, they fit, they feel so nice and cozy. Um, yeah. So as far as any upcoming projects, I'm not, I don't have anything on the horizon because I have a lot of stuff on the needles and things that I want to get finished. And I have like little things I want to do like hand warmers and I, al I always have socks on the needles plus I have the big I want to finish my speckle and pop I want to frog my cart my comfort fake cardi re-dye that yarn and then start it over again so I have a lot of stuff happening right now and I don't really want to um 
I don't want to ha have any dream knitting. I don't want to think about what I want to do because I want to get other stuff done because it clears my head. It makes me feel better. But yeah, I do have some, oh, I just remembered. I have to grab something really quick. Sorry. I'm gonna share this in a second but I do I have I know I've been quiet a little bit on Instagram um, just have been for not not as um, posty as normal but I'm trying to get more get back to being a little bit more active on it just but life stuff you know um, but I have been dying I did I did a lot of dying last week not dying but dying I am very much alive. So I have a few things to share with you. They are not up in the shop yet because I've been remiss about a couple of things and I um, need to get all of that squared away, which I will do today. So these will be up in the shop probably by the time you see this, but, and I have to get better at winding skeins. <laughs> so this is, um, it's on my Tenacious Toes sock base, which right now is my only base. It is 80% um, 80, 80 fine superwash, superwash fine highland wool and 20% polyamide. It's nice for socks. It's great for socks. So this is Purple Haze, and I have a few of these for the shop. I think I have, I have four. And yeah. So. I really like the way that came out. I'll show you a little bit more up close. No, they're all basically the same. So that is Purple Haze. This one, and this name, I, usually I have like great ideas for names, and this one might be changed. I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent set on it for some reason, but it works right now. I might change it, but you'll see it, um, and it's called. I think it's like smattered summer sunset, but it is that. And also I'm on the tenacious toes since that's all I have. I love this. I, I love it. I love the orange. I'm a big fan of orange. So um, I really should knit up samples for my stuff because I would love to see how this turns out. This one I am so in love with, and I only made two right now because I was kind of playing around, but I am definitely making more. And this is called Across, here, I'm, I'm going to show you both of them, Across the Universe. I'm going to show you this one because it's just because it's um, skeined a little bit tighter. But this is Across the Universe. As you will notice, I am a big Beatles fan, <laughs> but oh, I don't know if that is showing true to color, but that is like a... Yusha burgundy I'm not sure and I love this and this is speckled a little bit throughout so you will see it in other spots but very lightly Look in there I'm sorry if I'm making weird faces while I show it <laughs> I'm just I love I love the blue in this I love this blue and I'm so glad I wrote down exactly what, how I did it, because that's what you do. Love, love this. So that's Across the Universe. And then I had two that I was kind of playing around with, so they are not repeatable, unfortunately, because I really like them, but it's okay. They came out like, like it would be nice to have a shop full of one of a kinds, or it would be nice to be able to just repeat everything and not worry about it and just do one little thing, but it's there's a lot of work in, that goes into dyeing. Like, I don't even know what I'm doing. Like, the people who dye, like, these indie dyers who are, like, successful and have these shops are, they're amazing to me because I don't know what the heck I'm doing. But it's fun. This is called Juice. It reminds me of summer. Like, summer drinks and stuff. I love that. And this one, I really, really like this. So I might try to replicate it to some extent. And this is called Dancing Bears. This one like I, I don't even know how I did that 
I love it. And there's so many little colors in there that just, like, I don't know if you can see that. I don't even know. It's it's amazing. It's so much fun to dye when you're doing one of a kind. It's it's nice to do repeatable colorways too, but the one of a kind cuz is neat because it's like, wow, how did I do that? That's really cool. Really happy with those. I love the way that looks. So, those are going in the shop too. Dancing bears and juice. Let me know what you think about them because feedback is always great. And I wanted to share this, so I talked about in my last podcast how I how I had won um, something on Instagram, a giveaway. I enter giveaways a lot, and um, let me know if I can tag you on Instagram for a giveaway. I know that Mallory from Knit and Kitten, hi Mallory, I know that she said I could always tag her, and um, yeah, I just don't, I don't ever want to bother anybody. I don't ever mind being tagged. So if you want to tag me on Instagram for giveaways, go for it. If it makes you win something, that's great. Um, I forgot her card. I want to show you. So anyway, I I won a, a just a giveaway contest on Instagram, and I have to apologize if she's watching because she said she would give me a shout out. When I told, when I said who it was last time, I gave the wrong name because they're from the same area, which is um, pretty close to me. It's like about an hour from where I live, but we're in that city all the time. And who I won it from is Yarn Indulgences on Instagram. Mm, I'm gonna go like that because you can look her up. So Yarn Indulgences. And again, she's on Instagram. I won this from her. It was a name the colorway. So if you look at her Instagram or her website, I guess, yarnindulgences.com, um, the colorway that I named was Mixology. She liked it or it was random. I don't know. So I won a, I told her to surprise me with the color, with the colorway. I won a mini. I thought there was a little tag with it. Oh, there is. It's a... It's the Z Mini Lux. It's 100 yards, 25 grams of fingering weight, and it's 70% superwash merino wool, 20% cashmere, 10% uh, nylon, so it's a Lux yarn. That's the ball band. And I don't know the colorway. Many colors are one of a kind. So she just picked one out, and, oh, I, and I just got it in the mail the other day. So I didn't open it until just now. Here's proof. I just opened it. And she seals it. It's pretty cool. She seals it in these food savers. And we all know how ridiculous it is. Postage in Canada is ridiculous. And it was so, it was this flat. Like, that flat. It came in an envelope. I didn't even know. I expected something else. And my husband said, oh, there's your thing that you won. And I was like, it's flat. That's really cool. But that's a really good idea. That's a really good idea. Here is what she gave me. I'm so excited. I've never won a giveaway, so that's my first giveaway. Sorry, it's a little messy, but those are just the ties. That is gorgeous, of course. Look at that colorway. I told her I tend to be t more towards like pinks, purples, and blues, so I said, you know what, I'm not gonna pick something out, because she told me I could pick anything I wanted. I said, surprise me, so she did. So Deborah, that's her name. Thank you so much. Not that you're watching, but this is gorgeous. Beautiful. And she's local. So that's exciting. I'm kind of wind this up a little. I really suck at winding <laughs> yarn, which is not good because I'm selling yarn and I have to wind it. Any suggestions on skein winding? <laughs> I need to, my husband wants to set something up for me because he's like, you could do it so much better than the way you do it right now. But there it is. That's gorgeous. I'm so excited to have won that. I will always remember that, I hope. <laughs> so check her out. She's got some really gorgeous stuff. And what did I else, what else did I want to show you? Uh, I'm just looking at my notes. I'm sorry for looking down. Oh, I have been asking about organizing all of, I didn't even take them out, all of my circular needles, um, and I, I don't know what to do, like, they're just, it's just a big mess, so, I saw, who, I 
don't remember who it was. Someone on Instagram yesterday. Ah, uh, my phone is the one that is recording this, so I can't look. But anyway, her suggestion, she went, this is so great, so simple, so cheap. She went to a dollar store, so here it's Dollarama um, or Dollar Tree, and she got little bags that they would fit in, like resealable plastic bags, and labeled each one. So they're each in their individual bag, and they're labeled. So I have a label maker, because I do. And yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to get some resealable zipper bags and label all of them the size, the U.S. size, the millimeter size, and then the length also, and probably the name, if I can remember what kind of needles they are. And that way, when you need needles, you're not like tr measuring all of them or trying to find the size on them. They're right there. It's all organized, and that's, that's all I wanted. How easy is that? So I can't wait to do that. Um, I don't, we only have one car, so I don't always have access to the car and just, I can't just pop out, like I said, because I live miles and miles from civilization. <laughs> no, but um, yeah, I will probably be doing that this weekend or in the next couple days. And I can't wait to do that. That's so exciting. And as speaking of needles, I need to do a little needle shopping myself. Um, <laughs> I, I have quite like I've shared with you before, my um, my Chiagu set, I got to get the bigger sizes also because I don't always use the big sizes, but sometimes I need them, especially if I'm knitting toques and stuff. So I have U.S. sizes 2 through 8, but I need sizes 9 through 15, which I'll never use, like 13 and 15, but I might. I might, I might, it's nice to have them. And I want some smaller cables too, like shorter cables, because I don't have a... Um, these are, since these are five inch tips, the the smallest cable makes it way too long to knit a hat. So I need like a 10, I need like a five or six inch cable. So I need to go to a store, a local yarn store. And there's, there's a few around here actually. So I have to do that and get some, um, get some new needles, which is super exciting. And I think that is it as far as knitting goes and um yeah just waiting around here for spring <laughs> waiting for the snow to go away I don't complain about winter I don't like winter I don't know why I live in Ontario I should have moved to Florida but I don't like winter I don't like it I grew up in New England I always had winter and this is pretty much the same as New England weather. It just lasts a little bit longer. Um, summer, I'm a summer girl, love summer. My hair does not like summer, but I like summer. And um, I don't complain about it. I try not to because, you know, there is beauty in the snow. I'm looking out at the snow right now. It's killing my eyes, actually. I think I just burned my corneas. Um, <laughs> It's pretty. I like when it falls. I don't have to go anywhere, so it's not like a big deal. My husband has to drive in the weather a lot, and I don't like that, but um, my daughter has missed a lot of days at school this year because of the snow. School is still on, but they don't cancel school, but they do cancel buses, and if I don't have a car, I can't get her to school, which is fine because then we have snow days at home. I remember snow days, but it's so cold. It's so cold. And I'm sick of it. I'm sick of the cold. I want some, even just springtime weather. But the cold is nice because knitting. <laughs> it's cozy and I don't have to be anywhere. So that's nice. And um, I was actually just thinking, you probably already know this because it was a couple days ago, but I, it was very, very sad. We've lost a lot of um, celebrities in the last couple years, like three years, I think. Like a lot of really great ones. And Everybody's getting old. Everybody's sick. Not that he's old, but Luke Perry he wasn't old. It's like, Dylan, come on, 90210. I was like one of the 90210 fans. And that was very sad news. He's He was 52, and um, that's crazy. Dylan, Dylan's dead. Like, <laughs> I just thought, I, I don't usually talk about pop culture too much about on the podcast, um, even though I do love pop culture but I just don't really get into it too much or I never post stuff online about it but I thought that was really really sad um 52 that's so sad like yeah it's Dylan like okay I'm gonna stop but isn't that sad 
Speaking of TV shows and pop culture, if you have any suggestions for me to watch something, I binge watched the entire series of Friends, which I had seen all of them before, but never in order. Um, let me know if you have any suggestions. I, I do have to watch the newest season of um, Grace and Frankie. Um, I like funny stuff. I, I like scary stuff. It's not... Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm pretty much open to anything that's going to catch my attention. I just haven't... I don't really want to commit to anything unless I know. And there aren't... I feel like there's not any good movies out anymore. I don't know what's up with that. So, if you have any suggestions, let me know. And I also realized the other day that I was going through my bin that I'm actually not out of sock yarn, but my yarns that were saved for sock yarn are done. I'm done. I have a couple of really um, luxury, not luxury, but like quality fingering yarns that I have bought at, um, at fiber festivals and stuff, and they are meant for shawls. I have stuff in mind. So I said I didn't have dream knitting, but I do. Down the line, those are sa those are reserved for that. So I'm actually out of sock yarn, which is crazy. <sighs> so I got some stuff to, to do, and I still have a lot of yarn. Um, I will. I have this my big bin here, right here, with full of my yarn, and um, I will share that with you at some point. But I, again, I don't want to make my podcast too long, and I've already just chattered on too much about stuff. So. Thank you so much for watching, and you can get in touch with me below. There's all the information below. Just click on show more, and it'll give you my email and my Instagram and my Ravelry and my Etsy shop and all that stuff. So talk to me, leave comments below, instant message me, whatever. I'm here. I'll talk to you. Um, love you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and spending a few minutes with me, and I don't see you, but you see me, so I will talk to you later.